What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we have Magnus Carlsen Invitational Round 11, Hikaru Nakamura with the white pieces, perhaps the best speed chess player in the world against Anish Giri, the man who's leading the tournament at the moment. And I bet you thought this game was going to be fireworks, but we got what we got. Let's just take a look at it. We have e4, e5, both players put a pawn in the center. Knight to f3, attacking the pawn on e5, and Anish protects it with knight to c6. And after bishop to b5, attacking the knight, we have a Rui Lopez on the board. And as many players were hoping not to see, Anish went for knight to f6, and we have a Berlin's defense. Castles by white, and black captures the pawn on e4, and here Nakamura played d4. Of course, Taking on d4 with the pawn is not recommended because after rook to e1, the knight is pinned and you will lose a piece. So, knight to d6, attacking the bishop on b5 with the knight. Pawn captures on e5, knight takes on b5. It looks like Nakamura dropped a piece, but that's not the case. After a4, this knight has no squares. It has to sacrifice itself back. So, knight b to d4, knight captures and d5. Empassant, queen, uh, knight takes on d4, queen takes on d4, and after queen takes on d6, we have a repetition of moves and the game finishing a draw. Very uncharacteristic of Nakamura, who usually goes for the win, but for some reason, who knows, maybe he wasn't feeling well. Uh, he ended up taking the draw with the white pieces very early in the game. Something that usually we see from the other American, uh, Wesley So. But it is what it is. Uh, Nakamura finishing the draw. He's practically guaranteed to qualify into the knockout stage. So very good for him. Maybe that's uh, what he was hoping to get uh, out of this anyway. Very quick game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll be back with more exciting games in the later rounds. Stay safe. Have a great day. Show respect to your opponents. See you next time.